everybody. If you don't already know, I'm back from Japan. You can check out the Japan Adventure Vlog playlists in the link in the top right corner. I think it's there. I'm now back in the United States, so I'm in eBay, Amazon, resale, and possible pharmacy contract mode. But right now I'm gonna show you how to ship a tennis racket. We listed one yesterday or the day before, it just sold. And now my favorite part, getting the item out, getting the buyer happy, and having money in my PayPal. I'm gonna show you four different ways to ship it and then the method that I'm actually going to be using, which might surprise you. You could use these same methods for other similar items like Guitar Heroes, anything that's kind of that shape and not super fragile. So do keep that in mind. Well, first of all, here's the racket. I'm gonna put it in this racket case that I had laying around. I, I did not even include it in the listing. First way, you put it in a box that it fits in. So yeah, you would just put it in that box and ship it like that. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get a little bit more creative. Another way, now this is arguable. I'll let you guys argue about this in the comments. I'm not gonna do it. But basically, you stack the boxes like this, one inside of another. The item goes in. You close up both ends, but you have to ship this priority mail. We're not gonna do that. Way number three, get a big piece of cardboard, put it in, cut it up, fold it over, tape it, taco method, you could do that. Last but not least, what I'm gonna do is I have these humongous poly bags. There's two bags, throw a little, uh, throw a little tape on there. Perfectly fine, this is gonna ship very easy. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, if you don't have one of these nifty tennis racket cases, Make sure you wrap that sucker up in bubble wrap. I'll put a link to the poly bags in the description and also in the comments. It is an Amazon affiliate link, meaning that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get 4% of the purchase price. Rachel keeps asking me when I'm gonna start making money with YouTube and I just keep telling her, um, it's not really about making money. So hold your horses. I'm gonna throw the affiliate link in there. So I would really appreciate it if you guys bought through the affiliate link so I can get whatever 4% and you could throw some change at me for providing you with this amazing information and content. If you want to stick around for the rest of the video, I've been doing daily vlogs. I've been in the States for like two weeks out of the last six months. I've been in Thailand, Bali, Japan, and back in Thailand. It's not always about resale. It is a little bit about travel and um, creating a lifestyle that you want. Without further ado, the rest of the day vlog will begin. Legit, like 650 to ship this priority. The bags, man. You can use the bags for so many things. Rachel's gonna kill me if I don't start making some money on YouTube with little affiliate links. I've been pulling a lot of my stuff out of the storage in the closet, a lot of my personal items actually, to liquidate. I'm gonna go a little bit more minimalist, I think. So I'm gonna get rid of my own things, some of my own clothes. I have a pretty extensive video game collection. That's what I was working on right now. I listed all of these video games that are over here. So however many listings that is, I banged out maybe like 25 or 30 listings today, which was way above my goal. My goal was only about 10 a day, so I'm ahead. The eBay room's definitely gonna need some organizing. It's more of a storage when I'm away. I think I'm done with traveling for at least like six months or so. Like main traveling. I am going to Austin in early July to hang out with Chris and Steve for the Green Room Meetup. Time to like work more at home, which I actually really like. It's, it's a good change of pace from traveling. It really is. And who doesn't like making money? So my plans have all been changed since having, since I rebooked my flight. I have to rebook my flight to Austin. I'm gonna do that right now. And I found a round trip from Orlando to Austin. It goes direct. I didn't even know this. There's a route from Orlando to Austin. When I'm coming back, there's actually layover, but it's still really cheap. It's 195 round trip from Florida, from the Orlando airport. Check it out. I'm gonna be leaving on July 6th from Orlando and getting to getting back to Florida on the 18th. And it's only 200 bucks. That's so cheap. That's awesome. And if for whatever reason I have to rebook it, Southwest is super flexible, so that's good. Here's a picture of my grandfather and my grandma. He's so chubby in here. 63 years of marriage. Truly, um, for better or for worse, till death do you part. A very inspirational relationship that I look up to. There's a picture of my young grandfather with my older brother, Andrew. There's Andy. What is he, six years older than me? And a picture of him with grandpa. One older brother graduating from high school and a young version of him racing BMX, which is kind of funny because he became a professional baseball player. Now he's a baseball coach, but he was always into sports. Didn't do anything with BMX, but he was pretty athletic. And then there's yours truly, repping the retro 
Ninja Turtles. And I was changing my oil here. I think this is where my Aunt Linda first taught me how to change oil on a car. And that's my original Scion XA Giggles. She's a five speed. Drove her to all four corners of the country. Marty Green, Martin, Marty Spears, my little brother, getting ready for prom. Four boys. My mom's a saint. And we were little shits growing up. It's still been dripping, about one drop a second. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. And I think there's 20 drops in one ml which puts us at a little bit under one gallon of water coming off of this thing every day. Isn't that annoying? Let's get this bad boy fixed. So let's finish this. Just so that one little drop of water doesn't come out annoyingly. And now we have one gallon of water a day saved. On my way to Pine Island, I actually had to turn around about 10 minutes into my drive because my aunt messaged me telling me that she wanted me, that my mom wanted me to bring a picture of her grand, of uh, my grandpa's great grandchildren, her, my mom's grandchildren, my nieces and nephews. So I got that picture. Right here, Whoa, there's the picture. Grandmother's brother, sister, and uh, brother-in-law are coming today. They're driving down from Ohio. So they're coming down to Pine Island today. I'm gonna go see them. And um, they just wanted to make it before grandpa left us. I don't know how much filming I'm gonna do. It might just be a lot of, uh, be a lot of tears and family time. <laughs> Who wanted this? Uh, uh Grandma. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hi there. What up, fam? What up? So they finished the Coke puzzle. They're very puzzling ladies. I puzzled out for a while. My back hurts. And they're doing this one without the box. If you've ever done a puzzle, Try doing it without the box. It's a whole different experience, I promise you. It's like a history of my brother's um, baseball career. He was with the Baltimore Orioles organization out of high school, and then he went to the Chicago Cubs, and then to the Boston Red Sox. And my grandma, hand painted each one of these stones. It makes sense why so many people move to Florida because it's just like Hawaii, but it's a lot cheaper. She actually planted all of these from the tops. Look at the color on that one. Oh, that thing's gorgeous. And my mom starting to grow the pineapples too. There's some at the house in Port Charlotte. I'll show everybody. The one that she grew last season. Do they grow year round? Pineapple? The pineapples? Yeah, they don't. I mean, well, Florida, it's this. kind of like the whole season is the same season. It takes about a year and a half yeah. for them. They take almost a year to grow. And the last one I ate at my mom's house, it was hands down the sweetest pineapple, the best tasting pineapple I've ever had because it was straight up ripened in my backyard rather than being transported and shipped and ripened with gas or whatever they do. And then grandma's rain barrel, eco-friendly Republicans, brown anole, the brown lizard. The island that my grandparents live on is called Pine Island and it's a famous, I believe, for retirement communities where they live It's 55 and older. And I remember coming here when I was a young lad and there was a carambola tree, which is a star fruit. And it was the biggest star fruit tree I've ever seen. It produced fruit as big as my head and it was delicious. Well, somebody bought that property, I believe when somebody died, chopped that tree down, which broke my heart because I would have loved to uproot that thing and transport it somewhere and have it produce beautiful fruit. But I did want to show everyone this other tree, which is absolutely gorgeous, producing some amazing mangoes. We live in a tropical climate and it just grows plentiful with fruit. That was one of the and there's a little baby pineapple top. She's starting to grow. My grandfather found this in the dump. It reminds me of Japan. It's a, uh, it's a battery powered bicycle. 
I think it's getting close to nine o'clock. I'm fading fast. I'm still not completely adjusted yet. I believe I'm going to crash. With your auntie. Oh, we're on the floor. Somewhere over there on the floor. Or I'll go down the street and sleep in a tube somewhere. Or my aunt's van. It's all clean. But I will have to get up early in the morning. I'll probably wake up around three or four and then I'll sneak out and drive up to Port Charlotte. I got some eBay orders that I got to ship. I think I sold six or seven things today. So we'll do that tomorrow morning. We thank you for all of the encouraging comments, thoughts, and prayers. It actually does mean a lot to me and my family, and they're reading through them as well. And Aunt Linda appreciates it too. Oh my God. That means I love y'all. That's in sign language. Anyways, I will talk to everybody in the morning. Bye.